to do a demonstration on uh, lashing a patient into a stoke basket. Over the past couple years, there's been a couple different uh, methods taught. So we're going to narrow this down to one single method that we're here. From this day forward, we're going to teach the recruits, and it's going to be acceptable for testing and for field use. Basically, we're going to get rid of the heel hitch. Um, the heel hitch was taught to possibly stop some movement in the basket. However, it's only going to stop movement one way, and that's uh, feet first. If the patient were to get his feet elevated, it would not stop the patient's head from moving. So if you're in a steep environment or a vertical round, the addition of the uh, chest harness and the seat harness is going to be necessary. And in that case, this method of lashing would still work. Basically, instead of doing a heel hitch, we're just going to do a girth hitch at the bottom of the basket. So from there, you're just going to do your regular lashing. Since we're no longer doing the heel hitch, and there's no reason to keep the girth hitch tight because the girth hitch should loosen, you do not have to do a complete round turn on this first one. Once we get up about even with the chest, this is where you do your split clove. Back, we tighten. Another issue we were seeing was the safety on the split clove. We we're having people come back and then tie safety. You see what that does. Essentially, it loosens the knot. So you need to continue around to tie your safety in the split clove. Prior, uh, the double overhand knot, which is still acceptable, but the preferred method is two half hitches. With the half hitch, it actually tightens back onto the knot. Use a double overhand, which is essentially a slip knot. It allows that to slip, which then in turn can loosen the knot. So if you want to use the double overhand, you have to dress it to the knot. That's why it's preferable to use the half hitch. Actually, pull the half inches back and it tightens to the knot. 